Say everyone, outgoing legendary Senator Harry Reid of Nevada let loose on Donald Trump in a statement and said that Donald Trump was, and I quote, a sexual predator who lost the popular vote, unquote. And boy, just said that Trump is now the standard bearer of the job, and I'm paraphrasing here, of uniting our country and basically doesn't think he can get it done. <laughs> I have never in all my years seen a time when we picked a person who was so universally loathed. I, I have used comparisons to Ronald Reagan, but even Reagan was governor of California. Donald Trump has been governor of, well, nothing. <laughs> and, and here he is, president of the United States. That's a tall order to say the least, but, you know, it's going to be uh, an exercise in stomach churning to see how this unfolds. Already, Trump announced that he wanted Steve Bannon, a former editor for Breitbart and a uh, person who some call a white supremacist, to be his chief of staff, a guy who has no experience with Congress. So. He expects he's going to get these things done, and <laughs> he's going to be in for a rude awakening. He really is. He really is. And then, of course, they're going to, they're going to become the, the expectations of scandal, right? And, of course, people are going to look at how many women Trump appoints for his cabinet. I don't care what Ari Fleischer says or anybody else. Diversity matters. And you don't say, I want a meritocracy as a code word for saying, I want a bunch of white guys. <sighs> anyway.